Can you remember what my job is? Yeah. What is yeah, my job? Stories. Telling stories. I am a storyteller. And sometimes I believe stories are gifts. They're presents. And you have gifted me this amazing story, these amazing pictures. And I can't wait to tell you your story. Shall we, uh, shall we do that? Look at this. It's a book. A real book. Yes, where's your bears? Oh, on the front page of our book called Lowry Town. You knew that, didn't you? Yes, you could see the letters. We have made a story together. All of your pictures, Denise sent me those. And your ideas, Denise sent me those. And then Denise and Jake put it into, it's not just a front cover, a book with paint. Oh, that picture, I can't wait to show you that one. Oh, that's a, that's a very exciting part of the story. Oh, oh, what did they, oh, I'm sorry. I should really start at the beginning, shouldn't I? Are you ready? This is the very first time anybody has ever heard the story, Lowry Town. Oh, oh, oh. I'm excited. I'm excited. Lowry Town. Lowry Town. Lowry Town. We want to show you Lowry Town. Houses up and factories down. We love our home in Lowry Town. This is Mum walking out. In the pram, her baby. Listen close. You might hear them. Possibly. Maybe. Wah! 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 Mum walks them up. Mum walks them down. Mum walks them all over Lowry Town. Oh, oh. Mum tells them stories to settle them down about the creatures from Lowry Town. One day, for example, it got quite exciting. Three bears came to town and wouldn't stop fighting. But Mum had the way to calm them all down. These battling bears all over the town. She gave them some cookies, the ones that are square. Tremendously exciting for a wrestling bear. <laughs> oh, Mum knew this would happen. She left nothing to chance. The bears were so happy, they started to dance. <laughs> the bears danced through town, past houses, the school, they danced through the streets till they danced by the pool. Oh! A pool of clear water, a pond in the town. Bright fishes swam through it and more deeper down. A shark and a crocodile, a bright orange fish. Any creature you could think of was there with a wish. The pond would be needed in one of Mum's stories, a tale of great help and the pond creature's glories. <sighs> no. 
down in Lowry Town had great chimneys of smoke, fires for factories, or warm rooms when they woke. One day, quite by chance, a great fire broke out. Help, help, put it out, all the people did shout. The fire burned brightly, more houses alight. Some help would be needed, a huge blaze to fight. The pond creatures came, their mouths full of water, and put out the fire. Mum cheered, and her daughter. Back to the pond, the brave creatures went, leaving behind just a strong, smoky scent. So the stories were told. Mum cured wa and frown. Now both of them smiled, walking home through Lowry Town. Lowry Town, Lowry Town, we want to show you Lowry Town. Houses up and factories down. We love our home in Lowry Town.